Hi, I am Dr. Arvind Poswal from Dr. A's Clinic, Delhi, India. And today we will be talking about something which is very dear to me. We'll talk about our technique of taking out grafts by the FUE method and placing them in the correct way. This all is based on 26 years of my experience, which included doing some of the most difficult repair cases and also some of the largest hair transplant cases known to men, around 20,000 grafts. Our technique includes the latest scientific advances in stem cell research, in gene research, in how to lengthen the telomeres of your stem cells and the best medical practices which make sense when we are doing them. We are not just picking up grafts and pushing them in indiscriminately. Nowadays, there is a lot of misconception that if you just take out the grafts and push it in, call it direct transplant or whatever you may like to call it, that it will be somehow helpful for the grafts. That is not the case. The hair roots contain stem cells which need nourishing care once they are outside the body and also once you are putting them inside. So we call this technique the FUE Max. Now FUE Max is the safest and the most effective hair transplant technique. Our focus is on protecting, nourishing and safely transplanting hair roots with robust and healthy stem cells to give a lifelong growth to those transplanted hair. The key features of this technique that distinguish FUE Max so one is that follicular unit extraction is done only from the safe permanent donor areas of the scalp and beard. We ne never take grafts from the unsafe or temporary areas of the scalp. This ensures lifelong hair growth without need of any finasteride or any harmful long-term medicines. Your transplanted hair will grow for life without any maintenance or medicines. Now this is a very important thing given today's scenario because I see a lot of instances where doctors are not taking grafts only from the safe area. Safe area is just this part or when you are going for a transplant just remember the baldest people in your family. The hair which they have on side and back even in their old age, should be considered the safe donor area. So we take hair only from this safe donor area and I always mark it out for the patient and we show it to him. That way we ensure that we are taking out only permanent donor hair which will grow throughout life. There is a current practice where people are taking grafts from way up here. There was a famous cricketer in whom they took out grafts way up in this area and it was lost. After about two years, that was not hair transplant failure. I call it failure of the doctor or the company, whatsoever you may like to call it. They took out grafts and even now they take out grafts from the unsafe donor area. As a result, younger doctors, newer doctors who are coming into the field, they also feel that this is the area where we can take out grafts. That is not true. So we take out grafts only from the area where everyone in your family has good strong hair. That is permanent donor area. If you are all people in your family anyway have full head of hair, then consider the area which I am marking, this area only the one you see in uh, bald film stars also so that area we take similarly the hair in the beard they stay throughout life if anything they become even thicker with passing age even your chest hair your pubic hair your armpit hair those are permanent hair and we use all of them as and when required because your aim is to fill your head and in a good artistic way so that the hair growth also looks natural. So first point would be the 
extraction only from safe donor area now second point FUE technique is the only technique where we can extract grafts from highly visible beard this area the cheek area the chin area you name it we have taken grafts from the back of the hand also without visible white dot scarring that is one reason you have to understand that when we can take out all these grafts we can also fill up your head with all these hair i have been doing this beard hair extraction since year 2006 and so confident are we about lack of visible scarring that we offer every patient even if they do not need beard hair because their session may be small we have been offering them since 2006 that okay let us do some grafts from here and put it on top of your head this is not for our experimentation this is so that in case you are afraid because anyone can be afraid that maybe if no one else has white dots i may still still end up with white dots because of my particular skin type but i am happy to say that i have not seen any of such areas where permanent white dot scarring will be visible so that is why i say that there is no visible scarring when we take out grafts from the beard cheek chin area these are highly visible grafts areas but also remember if you really want to fill up your head you can't do it without using beard now next point in fue max we give top priority that safety of the hair roots how do we ensure that not by just pulling the hair out and putting it inside within seconds that is not the correct thing we do that by the no root touch technique remember untouched roots means healthy roots if you have ever planted saplings or flowers or anything then you will understand that once you take out a plant or a sapling you have to make sure that nothing touches the roots so that is why we call this the no root touch technique and in this respect only i would like to point out that we never ever use any harmful implanters in my view implanters are a really bad thing where transplant is concerned implanters were invented by the chinese doctors and maybe it helped in chinese people because they have very thick caliber hair if you see their hair it is almost three times the diameter of other people so maybe if uh, you are a chinese or of chinese descent or maybe if you have very thick caliber hair you could but otherwise imagine why would you take a healthy graft a living root containing the stem cells put it on a needle and then try to push the needle through the skin that is a wrong thing to do it will damage the grafts so we never used implanters and nor do we try to push them in a marketing way also next the grafts they are not pushed or pulled these used to be two different ways you either push a graft inside or you pull it from the root both are wrong the correct way is that once all the slits are made then the grafts are one by one you slide the grafts into pre prepared slits all these slits are made by the artist doctor so this is called making the pre prepared slits and this is a vital part of the fue max technique we do not use the stick and place method for those of you who do not know what stick and place is many times doctors or clinics what they do is that grafts are loaded onto needles or implanters and then given into the hands of sometimes the technicians or even if they are all doctors which is a very difficult thing for me to uh, visualize even then if there are two people one 
pushing in needles from this side the other pushing in needles from this side i don't see how they will be able to match up on the artistic aspect of that secondly when you are using in planters think yourself if you are pushing a needle into this area with the graft then you are trying to push another needle adjacent to it the previous graft will pop out if you are putting them very close together on the other hand if you have made the slits already then all we need to do is just hold the graft from top just open up the slit and slide the graft into the slit the recipient slit it is the safest and the best way for the grafts and for you right then <coughs> stem cells of the grafts are protected and nourished during and after transplant in the fue max technique i'll be talking more about this what do we do to accomplish this we use a lot of things and all most of those things are due to recent research sometimes your doctor may not be aware of this if he is not you tell him about it and if he has no he doesn't have the requisite antioxidants and other things then he can procure it from us that is not a problem so what are those important things which we give to the grafts so that they stay healthy during the transplant process one is the growth factors from plasma some people call it prp so remember prp is not a magic i'm not saying you go six times prp and your head would be fill, filled with hair but your blood does contain some growth factors the better you live the better you eat the more growth factors you will be having it is not dependent on any doctor or any outside person what we do is we take your blood at the start of the procedure and then we centrifuge it like in prp and then we take that plasma which is rich in growth factors forget the our constant pressure on platelets it's the growth factors which are important so we take that growth factors and we will be injecting them in the recipient area so as to prepare it in the best way so that once the grafts reach there they already have the best growth factors there made by your own body the second thing and these are new names for some of you so google them write down on google how will resveratrol help my hair or resveratrol for hair and fisetin for hair and read up what uh, the scientists have done they have done some wonderful research they found out that resveratrol and fisetin especially these two items they can protect your stem cells of your grafts from damage due to all the outside harmful things the free oxygen radicals once the graft comes out that is what is damaging them and we have to protect them so we use resveratrol and fisetin to protect the oxidative stress to the stem cells during as well as after the transplant how do we do that we will be putting resveratrol fisetin and also grape seed extract on the recipient slits on the grafts we have found very good results with that <clears throat> these are simple anti aging molecules and even after the procedure we give our patient resveratrol and grape seed serum to apply I do not give fisetin it is a much stronger molecule which has to be used only under medical supervision so even after the transplant when the uh, recipient slits are healing when the graft is in a new location if you give them antioxidants which will uh, help their transition smoothen their transition so that they go into the new place and produce healthy 
take care we give that also starting fifth day after the transplant this is the next step of fue max all of this is connected fue max is about taking out grafts safely from the safe donor area keeping it in the best antioxidants and then transplanting them in a safe manner and then ensuring that even after transplant they have the ideal environment to grow we also combine fue max with gene therapy why do we do that to protect the remaining hair of course I never recommend finasteride. I believe that the side effects are so great that uh, I will not give it to my son. I will not take it for myself. <clears throat> I have done hair transplant for my father also. I have done it by the FUE Max technique only, and I will never think of giving him finasteride. So why would I give my patient finasteride? the side effects uh, are serious they include suicidal tendency or suicidal thoughts depression apart from importance there is something called post finasteride syndrome before you start off indiscriminately on finasteride and this is my request to doctors also before you indiscriminately start prescribing finasteride to every patient at least read about post finasteride syndrome you'll find that in many countries in the developed countries the companies are required pharma companies are required to mention a warning on the finasteride tablet that it can lead to suicidal tendencies i think this thing is not highlighted enough we cannot let the patient just carry on their life without at least telling them about the side effects if the patient does not have side effects all the good for him but it shouldn't be a surprise he won't even come to know what uh, those things are happening if they are happening why are they happening to them so please be truthful tell your patient that yes these are the possible side effects if they do not have side effects i never stop any patient from taking finasteride after all they are free people they make their own decision what i do is i give them an alternative with in form of gene therapy which is safe without side effect and i found it to be almost as good if not better than finasteride and minoxidil similarly when we are protecting the remaining hair i don't suggest that you keep on going for prp every month prp has a place but i think it has been over marketed so yes we will use the growth factors also in fue max in a proper way so that was the first point protecting the remaining hair which we do by gene therapy second is strengthen the stem cells in the transplanted grafts that is important to ensure healthy permanent hair all these steps ensure a very natural result and the safest transplant of stem cell bearing grafts for the healthiest hair growth mark my words mark each word of my sentence i said safest transplant of stem cell bearing grafts so the focus has to be on the stem cells of your grafts this gives the healthiest hair growth that keeps growing for the rest of your life without need needing any maintenance or any finasteride and my proof is in my results because as an artist and a doctor i always say that uh, my work is a art a body art even though it is performed through surgery so for such things you always have to see the work see hundreds of my results what i normally pride myself on is naturalness if you find anyone that you think is not natural looking you come and ask me so that's why i say 
the proof is not in anything else it is not in how beautiful my receptionist is how many coffees i give you or how much hotel rooms i give you free of cost you are coming to me to get the best hair transplant or wherever you go see that that uh, doctor has the best results or results that you really fall in love with see how natural the hairlines look there should be no white dot scarring on the highly visible cheek areas or the chin areas pamper your grafts and pamper your stem cells that is what fue max is all about it's not about rushing through a procedure doing lots and lots of grafts in a single day that is not something that is beneficial to you that may be beneficial to the company or the doctor for you you are going to change your look forever that is why you are selecting trying to know about the different fue techniques and that is what i have done today i have told you everything you need to know about fue max if you have any questions let me know and remember you share this share this with your friends and with as many people because this knowledge needs to go out we need to stop doing those outdated fue methods so go for fue max thank you